for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome to our series on using Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. In preceding videos, we'd seen how to create a couple different styles of links. We saw how to create a link from one page to another in a web page. We also saw how to make a link that opens up an email window instead of a web page. And we also learned how to link to a PDF form that we want people to be able to download. In this final video on the basics of linking, we're going to see how we can create a link to go to a specific spot on a page. And these are called anchor links. Anchor links. Now, the first thing to setting up anchor links is actually marking the pieces of text or images that are going to be anchors in your document. Now, you're going to see here, I sort of have a little mini table of contents for this page. And this is something people frequently do. And you'll see there's introduction, key concerns, we want to come down here, and we want to link that to there. And then finally, map to our company, we want it to go all the way to the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create anchors for each one of these links. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight introduction here, and then I'm going to go to the insert menu up at the top, and I'm going to select Named Anchor. When I do that, the dialog box is going to come up. And I'm going to go ahead and type in Introduction. And then click OK. Now, you're going to see that when I did that, the word Introduction was highlighted, so the anchor replaced it. That's a frequent mistake that people make but all I have to do is go ahead and click to the right of that, or to the left of that, and type in introduction again. And the text will be back. So all you have to do when you're creating a named link is go ahead and click to the right of it. Now I'm going to go to insert, name anchor, and I'm going to call this one concerns, and then OK. There's that anchor, and you'll see it didn't delete the text there. And finally, I'm going to click to the right of Map to Our Company, and then Insert, Named Anchor, and I'm going to call this one Map. And I'm going to click OK, and I now have three anchors on my page. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create the links to each one of these anchors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight the word introduction here. And whenever we click on introduction, we want it to jump right here. Now this first one isn't going to be very effective because it is just moving it down a little bit. But you can see the power when we get to items that are farther on down. So I highlighted introduction. And then I'm going to go ahead and click this little yellow folder icon here, what I've been doing before. And you're going to see there's nothing in here that will allow me to select that link. What you've got to remember is you've got to remember what the anchor is. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And a quick way to remember what your anchors are, are just to click at that little yellow icon and you'll see the anchor right there. In this case it's called Introduction. I could also change it if I wanted to. I'm going to change that to Intro. So now I have that set up. So what I need to do is I need to highlight introduction. I'm going to come down here to the link box and I'm going to type in a number sign. The number sign tells Dreamweaver that this is an anchor link, not a link to another page. And then I'm going to go ahead and type the link text, which in this case is intro. So now I've got that. I'm going to highlight key concerns. And I can come down here and there's my named anchor and the name of the anchor is concerned so I'm just going to actually copy that and then I'm going to come up to this and then I'm going to go ahead and type in a number sign because it's an anchor link and then just paste that link text in there and hit enter and finally I'll highlight map and then go ahead and click there and I remember what it is so I'm going to just type in a number sign and map. 
and hit enter. And you will now have links that when you click on them will take you to the respective places inside of each one of these or down uh, at the bottom of each one of these pages. If you'd like to see more videos on using Adobe Dreamweaver or other creative products like Photoshop or InDesign, be sure to visit our website at createtheweb.com. That's www.createtheweb.com. For more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www createthenet.com that was www.createthenet.com